sweets, I'm Lady Nadra. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are just dropping in and you haven't decided to become a sweet sweet yet, keep watching. If you like what you see, then hit the subscribe button. But we love all things aesthetically pleasing over here. We love to see it, smell it, taste it, feel it, hear it. All the aesthetics of life we I'm a love. pastor's wife, I'm a retired hairstylist, I'm a caregiver for my mom. So. In caregiving, if you know anything about that life, it could be a bit heavy, so, you know, I recharge <laughs> by self-care. You cannot pour from an empty cup. I'm into hair products now because, listen, this hair, y'all, it looks kind of cute right now, but by the time I finish sweating today, it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. It's not cut into this style. I just kind of have it molded into this style. And if I know my hair, it doesn't stay molded. <laughs> so, therefore, this is a new look for me. But, um, yeah, we're going to see how we get through the day. I'll come back on here and let you guys see what actually happens to my hair after a while. But I do have a hat in my bag just in case. So my outfit for today are these barrel cut, um, kind of faux leather. Um, they're not necessarily joggers, but they do have elastic in the waist. So maybe they are, I don't know. But they're super comfortable. They came from Anthropology. They have these nice deep pockets on the front and they also have functional pockets in the back. They're kind of stretchy. Mine are in a size extra large. They're a bit cropped, not not extremely cropped, but they are kind of cropped just so I can show my shoes and socks. My socks are from Anthropology. My shoes are the Bottega Rocket Mules, and they are the ones that are dupes on Amazon. I actually have them linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll put the link to my storefront there, and I'll actually link the shoes as well. This is actually from Lululemon. It's one of my workout shirts. I, I, you know, I just kind of pulled it out because I needed something a little short. Although my pants will be pulled up and I won't be, you know, my stomach won't be showing during worship because <laughs> I'm a worship leader. So I don't want to be a distraction, right? But I'll pull my pants up and that way, you know, you won't have any situations here. But I chose to pair this with silver today. My jewelry is silver. I got my, um, this is a Tiffany cuff, the dupe to the Tiffany bone cuff. And then these are dupes to David Yerman pieces. And they're, all this stuff is on Amazon as well. And I have on my Fendi watch on this arm. I decided to add this little Zara, I guess, bolo type of <laughs> situation. And my earrings are from Target. These are, um... A little bit, maybe maybe about a couple months old, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to find them there, but they have some cute pieces in Target, don't sleep. Then these, these uh, cuffs are from Amazon as well. My makeup for the day is my typical routine now. It's, it's pretty much routine. I have on Hourglass Concealer. I have on um, House Labs Foundation in the shade 470. My concealer is in the shade Velvet. Um, on my cheeks, you might see a little blush. That's Danessa Myrick's Bellini. And then I, con well, kind of contour, or just bronze. Bronze my face with Thick Mint by Fenty Beauty. My lip for today is Cornivar, 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 I don't know how to say the word, by MAC. And it is a matte lipstick my lashes are lily lashes these are the self-adhesive ones that i'm now adding glue to because i ruined them like the second time i wore them i had to put a little glue on there so yeah i think once i did that that was a wrap my bag for today is my balenciaga monaco it just takes everything you put everything in this bag my shades for today are from amazon i need to clean them but they have the blue lens and Cat eye blue nails. All right, guys, I'm out of here.
me. Oh my God. These crab cakes are so fresh. get some food from Jenya after I left the mall and I went to go to um, see about my mom just you know check in on her <clears throat> went to Victoria Gardens I was looking for an outfit I'll show you guys kind of the outfit I got I probably need to wait and show you guys tomorrow which for you will be <laughs> a few minutes which I will I'll do that but right now it's right here um, it's just some sweats and it's like the way they fit that makes them great. <laughs> they are very soft and this is a great fall, um, winter. And I say that with hesitation because, you know, California just, we don't get cold, cold like that. So, so this is a good outfit for that. I'm you know low on just like throw on and go this is kind of a cropped um, top with oversized top I got the size large I sized down in the top and I got the extra large in the bottoms but um, I tried the extra large on yesterday and this was probably going to be big too but that one was like it looked disproportionately bigger than the pants to me I don't know I prefer the large and then I picked up a karma cream now if you've been around here a while you know I love karma cream from lush this is just like this is such a great smelling body cream and it helps to you know boost your fragrance up and stuff like that so I always I always have on a body cream body oil or both along with my perfume to um, create the combos that that stay all day, you know. Otherwise, you'll be needing to spray. You know, continue take up take your bottle of perfume with you and spray all day. Sorry, the light is funky, guys. The sun is going down. I also got this. Um, now, why is it doing this? Cause <laughs> I don't like that it looks halfway empty. And I know. Probably because it's falling to one side, but I'm going to need to check this out. I haven't opened it yet, but I don't like that this is happening right here. I want to see it all full. Because it couldn't be that much in the top. I'm scared to open it now. Yeah, there's even this little thing on the top. So, I feel like some of it is missing. Look at that. Mm, I feel like I want to take this back. Because <laughs> I feel like it should be... It's not a whole bunch on the top. And it's not real high. Let me take a video of this. Yeah, I'm going to take a video so they can see and see this and give me another one because I want I want one that's all the way full. Oof. Anyway, this is the Bond 9 Greenwich Village body cream. And I'm gonna put it right back in this box. Cause I don't like that. Um then I ordered this this ring set and I really just wanted these two pieces it's a three-piece ring set I got it from Amazon I wanted just these two pieces of course it comes with this other piece and I think you're supposed to put the, this in the middle this goes in the middle but I just like these two and they're adjustable this one is got that little opening right there this one does like it separates it opens like that so 
See, that's cute. That's enough. I don't, I don't need this piece in the middle. I could push it down if I open it up, but I don't need all that. But this is in my Amazon storefront, so if you like it, you know, I think it's a vibe. Not expensive, nothing major. Monday, November 4th. Happy birthday, Dre. <laughs> That's my brother. I mean, I don't really expect him to be watching this, but probably going to wait till a little bit closer to shift change, but I'm going to go visit my mom. If you watched last week's vlog, I think I told you guys my mom fell over at the facility. She was outside and she fell. So she has this big old knot on the side of her head. It's like, oh my gosh. I think it was pretty painful because some kind of way she got up the words to tell the doctor, please don't do that. And you know, she doesn't speak very many words. My mom has Alzheimer's. So she doesn't say too many words, you know, but that, like she gathered herself up. I could see her, you know, like, like adjusting, you know, herself. And she said, please don't do that. And so, the doctor said, okay, I'm almost done. I just have to put the stair strips on your your incision, your wound. And so she went, <laughs> Ooh, me and this little hair, this little teaspoon of hair, we, we are tussling. My hair never wants to stay put. I have to put a whole bunch of gel and stuff on it to, and dry it in order to lay it down. But nonetheless, I just put my... True Cream Aqua Bomb on my face. That's all I'm gonna put on for the day. Put some lip gloss on. My Huda Beauty Full Filler lip gloss. That's what I'm gonna put on today. And my earrings. And I'm gonna go um, do my banking and my run to the grocery store real quick. And uh, 
and go check on my mom. Like I said, I like to go, you know, right around shift change so that she's, um, I can, you know, see whoever, whoever, whoever needs to see me can see me. I just have on my Lululemon shorts and top. This is going to be it for the day. I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to put on today. Um, maybe I'll just put on my walking shoes. That way, this evening, I'll be ready to go for a walk. I didn't go this morning because the wind was crazy. We have, at the church, we have this group called the Big Sisters, Big Sisters, Little Sisters. And so, um, the idea is that we pour into the young people, you know, um, the young women, you know, the older women pouring into the younger women. That always, to me, that was something special. Like the the older ones that weren't quite my parents' age, um, <laughs> but they were definitely older than me. You know, the ones that took up time with me, they were very special and they've always held such a special place in my heart. And so, um, I just wanted to kind of recreate that space for the younger women in our church. I asked them what was their favorite physical attribute, <laughs> you know, which sounds pretty shallow, but as women, we kind of, I know how long it took me to be confident in who I am, whatever my body looked like, whatever, you know, my appearance was at the time, you know, I spent so much time, so much of my like 30s and even 40s, which are your, you know, <laughs> your best years physically, you know what I'm saying? Um, I spent so much of that time like mad about how I looked and what wasn't perfect and what wasn't this and what wasn't that. And I just let it rob too much of my my good years you know and so i asked them that question and then i shared with them why i asked the question you know and <laughs> my friend trina she was like yeah like i spent all that time i was thinking about that the other day when i was you know in my 30s and i'm like Oh, if I could just lose 10 pounds. And she was like, if I could just be that size now. <laughs> My husband always thought I was beautiful whatever size I was. You know, it didn't matter to him, but it mattered to me. And that sometimes affected us how close I would let him get or don't touch my don't like don't grab me around my stomach you know what I mean it, that was always such a uh, issue for me like when you hug me or you hug me I'm standing in front of you whatever you know you could grab my hips you could grab you know around my behind you can grab all the things like that but don't touch my stomach <laughs> that was just like huge to me like oh it's just not as poor as important as as we put you know what we put on it so I just wanted to kind of I asked them that question we asked them questions about what hurdles the ones that were not married what hurdles do they think they have to get over in order to get where they're trying to get you know the woman you want to be when you meet a mate or what you think you might need you know, before you get into a serious relationship, for those that were in the relationships, what are the hardest things that you have to um, remove in order to to join with somebody else? You know what I mean? Like, what what are the things that you think you need to work on that might present a problem in your relationship? They got to ask us questions, and we were honest with them and whatnot. So that was fun. It's always interesting because my daughter, my granddaughter, and my daughter in love are <laughs> a part of the group. So I, I don't think they have a problem with me being, you know, their <laughs> big sister, big sister, little sister. I don't think they have that problem with me being that in that space, but I don't know. 
I don't think they have those issues, but I'm not sure. Right I don't know. They would have to tell me though, because <laughs> I'm just going to keep on plugging away and do it. They were like, let's have fun. Let's do the fun stuff. I'm like, y'all know me. I'm going to ask some serious questions. I'm gonna, I want you to, I want this time to be beneficial to you. Um, we can have fun for sure, but life ain't all fun and games. Okay, I wanted to show you guys real quick this little jacket that I got from Amazon. So cute. Only drawback is it doesn't have any pockets on it. But it was very inexpensive. And this is a great jacket for when I go walking. Early mornings. It's much cooler now. So I could just put this on. And the sleeves are nice and long. So even if I need to take it off, I can easily tied around my waist and it won't be just you know in the way but has this um draw strings where you can you know cinch it around your waist and kind of let's see your eye <laughs> hey pretty girl <laughs> she's got a shiner <laughs> Her birthday gift yesterday, some lotion. Oh, so he has? Yeah. Okay. No, she's in there. They're doing laps for second. Yeah, she's in there. Ooh, this is your favorite lotion, girl. I was in the salon where my mom lives. I was over here putting some stuff, some supplies and stuff in the salon. And uh, as I was coming out, one of the residents, he was like inching up off of his wheelchair. He's strong enough to get himself up, but he's just not strong enough to stay up and walk by himself. You know what I mean? So he can actually get out of that chair if he really wants to, you know, and he has stuff around him that will help him to stabilize himself as he's getting up. And so they normally try to lock him in a corner, basically, where he can't wiggle his way out of it. Um, but today he was like in the, in the aisle way where he could have gotten out of that chair and he kept scooting his butt up and he was pulling himself on something. But he was his butt was like hanging off the edge of his wheelchair. There was a lady there and she was doing some paperwork. She's probably someone's nurse. You know, she's just rounding up her paperwork or whatever. But she was sitting right there. As I was coming out of the salon, I saw her. So it was either her or me to like help him to get back into his chair. And I said, oh my gosh was almost off of his chair and she said oh he's been doing that all day and then she said um um I don't work here <laughs> and I was like look, looking like I don't work here either but I don't want to see the man on the floor <laughs> she was familiar with what he had been trying to do all day at least that much she was familiar with went to get some food from Jenya after I left the mall and I went to go to um, see about my mom, just, you know, check in on her. <clears throat> Went to Victoria Gardens. I was looking for an outfit. I'll show you guys kind of the outfit I got. I probably need to wait and show you guys tomorrow, which for you will be <laughs> a few minutes, which I will. I'll do that. But right now it's right here. Um, it's just some sweats. And it's like the way they fit that makes them great. <laughs> they are very soft and this is a great fall um, winter and I say that with hesitation because you know California just we don't get 
cold cold like that so this is a good outfit for that I'm you know low on just like throw on and go this is kind of a cropped um, top with oversized top I got the size large I sized down in the top and I got the extra large in the bottoms but um, I tried the extra large on yesterday and this was probably going to be big too but that one was like it looked disproportionately bigger than the pants to me I don't know and I, I preferred the large and then I picked up a karma cream now, if you've been around here a while, you know I love Karma Cream from Lush. This is just like, this is such a great smelling body cream and it helps to, you know, boost your fragrance up and stuff like that. So I always, I always have on a body cream, body oil, or both along with my perfume to um, create the combos that, that stay all day, you know. Otherwise, you'll be needing to spray. You know, continue take a take your bottle of perfume with you and spray all day. Sorry, the light is funky, guys. The sun is going down, and I also got this. Um, now, why is it doing this? Cause <laughs> I don't like that it looks halfway empty, and I know it's probably because it's falling to one side. But I'm gonna need to check this out. I haven't opened it yet. But I don't like that this is happening right here. I want to see it all full. Because it couldn't be that much in the top. I'm scared to open it now. Yeah, there's even this little thing on the top. So, I feel like some of it is missing. Look at that. Mm, I feel like I want to take this back. <laughs> Because I feel like it should be, it's not a whole bunch on the top. And it's not real high. Anyway, this is the Bond 9 Greenwich Village Body Cream. And we'll put it right back in this box. Because I don't like that. It's a three-piece ring set. I got it from Amazon. I wanted just these two pieces. Of course, it comes with this other piece. And I think you're supposed to put the, this in the middle. This goes in the middle. But I just like these two. And they're adjustable. See, that's cute. That's enough. I don't I don't need this piece in the middle. I could push it down if I open it up. But I don't need all that too much. This one is cute. But this is in my Amazon storefront, so if you like it, you know, I think it's a vibe. Not expensive, nothing major. I'm looking for the skin essence. They don't have it. Okay, it was three things that I'm looking for and this cold Sephora didn't have well they had one of them it just cost more high it just cost more than I wanted it to cost <laughs> but um yeah the other two they just didn't have so I'm gonna have to go to a freestanding Sephora Morgan and I just did our part
had two. The other one is gone. <laughs> is it under the car? The other one's gone. I'm trying to look and see if I see it anywhere. Did it? <laughs> Where did the other mat go? It's like gone. Blew away. I just ran over a, a flag. It wasn't a Harris flag. I just ran it over. <laughs> it's in the street. Yep. All right, here's the other color, which is a beautiful color. I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. I wouldn't wear it like that, you know what I mean? I'll get more wear out of the black one than I will out of this, this beautiful chartreuse, I would say. But it's like, um, I think this dress is $40, 38. And then this coat is cute with the tuxedo lapel. It's just okay. I mean, I love this detail here. This is stunning, actually. But the rest of the coat is just okay. <laughs> um, this is an extra large. So. I don't know if a 2X might look better. The word 2X. But the 1X is not, it's not giving. I don't know if, I think the bottom of the coat needs to have another shape, like a more rounded, um, and then maybe a little taper at the bottom. That might be funky. Feels like more bubble, kind of. Hey, you guys, look at this necklace that I got from, I got it off Amazon, and I think it's super, super cute. It's very, very long. I have it doubled. Let me show you. It feels nice and weighty. It doesn't feel cheap. I had another one that felt really cheap and it broke. <laughs> so this one doesn't feel that way at all. But you see, you can wear it either, you know, as a long situation. Oh, let me do it. That's the length of it. Or you can double it up like I had it. It's the pig nose style bracelet. That's what, I mean, uh, necklace. That's what they call this little link looking thing there, pig nose. And, um, thought it was cute came pretty quick actually came in the mail they didn't drop it off at the door like normal today is Friday and I normally do my washing on Monday which I did I did do it but I had some extra stuff that um I thought why not just knock it out I just purchased mark one of these Clorox uh, toilet scrubber he needs to have so much stuff 
in his room and bathroom. The housekeepers came. They don't even look like they came. I mean, it's clean in here, but oops, sorry. It's clean, but it's junky. In case you don't know or not familiar with this, this is um slide it in the top, pinch in over here, pinch in over there. Okay, so that's how it looks. And then you take the wand, which is where? Did I take the wand out? I'm not, I'm not gonna take them out of the packet, but you put these in here and then the wand just grabs one. It, the wand sits right here like this, like out. And then when you're ready to use it, you unhook it, it kind of hooks in there. Unhook it push the, by pushing the button and then you stick it in here and get one of these little toilet cleaners and it has a brush head on it, a kind of abrasive brush head so you can clean the toilet and then you click the button on the wand to throw it away. You don't have to touch nothing. Like, see look, these are empty. Just throw them away, right? <laughs> Plain and simple. This is what he means. He doesn't mind clutter but he don't like trash. It's all the same to me. <laughs> it's all the same. That's why we just put him over there in that room and he don't have to do nothing over here because that's gonna irritate me. Here's the outfit. This skirt, I kind of just tacked it onto my jeans. Um, Morgan cut cut the back out of it and we tacked it onto the jeans. It's kind of poorly done, but it'll work. It'll work for tonight. My shoes are my Bottega Rocket Mules, uh, the dupes from Amazon in my in my store. This shirt is from Free People. My jewelry, Zara. These two chains. This is one chain. And the heart is another chain. I think it's from Zara. It's either Zara or Free People. And then this one, this little pig nose. I showed you guys this is from um, Amazon. I have on my Target earrings and this Amazon cuff. This hat. The hat, I'm going to have to figure out where the hat came from. Because <laughs> I don't remember. But this is my outfit. Got my silver jewelry on. Got my nails done today. I got blue again. I was trying for a different kind of blue, but it kind of looks similar to last time, but I'm okay with it because I enjoyed the color. So, this is my outfit for today. My fragrance is, what did I put on? Today I put on, and I need to touch up just a little bit because I only put it on under my clothes. Blanche Bat, 
Blanche Bet and um, I mixed it with Bulgari's Chill and Soul. Today is Saturday, November 9th. <laughs> These dates, they just, they just throw me. Dang, I should have gotten water before I started. But anyway, um, I'm up and I'm getting ready to go to the second day of Laugh, Cry, Heal. Last night was interesting. I mean, it was a great, great laid back service. Like we go to church all the time. So I don't always need, you know, the snotting and crying and laid out and all that kind of stuff. I, I actually prefer something a little bit more thought provoking. Um, I, I prefer to be challenged, you know what I mean, in my thinking, and, um, Dr. Anita Phillips, she just sat on the steps and talked to us, and that, uh, was very, very beneficial, um, I would say to the group. She said some stuff that kind of stuck with me, like, mmm. <laughs> Uh, okay, I need to explore that. You know, I had a few of those moments. For sure. So, dang, why did I do that? Um, should get my brows first. That's why I can't talk to y'all, because I get thrown, thrown off <laughs> um, while I'm doing my makeup. But, anyway, I'm sweating. I need to get dressed. And um, I will, once I get dressed, I'm trying to still trying to figure out my outfit and see what I'm wearing and whatnot. Um, but once I get dressed, I'll let you know. I'm either going to wear my outfit from Target or I'm going to wear my jacket that I got from Nordstrom that I don't really quite have the right outfit. I may wear that tomorrow. One or the other. I'm going to wear either the Target outfit today or I'm going to wear my jacket today and the other tomorrow all right i'm about to watch carolyn gray she's on here <laughs> i'm gonna do that while i do my makeup and then i'll show y'all what i came up with okay y'all i'm pulling it together i had to go i had to go make me a sandwich this morning because i'm like what i'm not gonna be doing is out there starving um yeah no it's not gonna be my portion today <laughs> y'all looking at my hair I'm gonna put a hat on I know y'all sick of me with these baseball caps but they have been saving my life <laughs> to be honest they have really been um, a big help to me I'm probably gonna wear this LA Dodgers one and I don't be knowing what they say on the top last night <laughs> Tina's son walked in. He was like, you like the Yankees? <laughs> and I was like, uh, does my hat say Yankees? He said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, um, not particularly. Just, you know, just went with the outfit today. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, my like, Lord, hell, today I got to be repping the right team and all that kind of stuff. I just like the colors of the hats. This is the one I'm going to wear today. Okay, I hate to show you guys in this mirror. I'll we'll definitely get a better photo um, or get a better angle. But so I didn't know quite what to wear with this. It has, you can see, it has a pinstripe in it, um, a white pinstripe, and you know I didn't feel like I had to wear. Like if I had something leopard, that might have been funky. Um, which I do have some like joggers, but I also had these joggers. So they have this stripe down the side, which you can't really see much of. There's just like a peak of it down at the bottom. Um, I think I want to clean these. I was putting these sneakers on just to see what, uh, what they were giving, but I want to clean them off just a little bit. I am not a sneaker girl <laughs> and I think I want to pin this just a little this 
button right here is very important <laughs> and it is somewhat stressed I would say like it's taken a lot there's a button inside that I have buttoned they didn't have this in a larger size but there is a button here inside of it that is buttoned and this one is holding it and then I also put a safety pin somewhere in here where is it I put a safety pin to take some of the stress as well and then I added this one for just in case I probably put a couple more on my sleeve like of just in case buttons but I mean safety pins so that in case this button decides it doesn't want to cooperate today I could but button this one but then you wouldn't be able to see peaks of this this um I kind of want that color to kind of come through here and there you know it won't be much but I just kind of want the color to come through so I don't know got to figure that part out um well that's why I didn't button this button I could definitely do it It was an amazing couple days. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Laugh Cry Heal, it's Erica Campbell's um, conference. And um, I have, I forgot that I had these little patches. Because I have a little situation like right here. So. I'm not sure if this mighty patch is, is what I'm supposed to use for this situation here that I got or if it's supposed to be something like visibly in it. I think it's supposed to be supposed to put these on the pimple and let it draw out whatever is in there. I can definitely feel something under there when I touch it. I started to do that little one too. Should I? Um, I think I'm going to leave that one alone. I had just wrinkled it some, so I took it off and tried to reapply it. But I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to try to smooth it down. But this is the Mighty Patch. Listen, I could not wait to get home and take a shower <laughs> and wash my face. Um, we went to eat, me and Kathy, we... Went together last night. Kathy drove. Today, we thumbed a ride with Lynette. Um, my friend Lynette and Dreesy. 
and um, it was a full day. It was a full day. And so afterwards we were starving. So we went, we drove home because there was like traffic and it was saying it was going to take us forever to get home. So we just thugged it out. Although all of us were super, super hungry. We thugged it out and then we made it back on this end and got, went to China Brothers and got some food, which was good. It was great. I don't know if we were just hungry or if it was like extra good today. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so good. And Kathy had never, Kathy and Dreesy, they had never had it before, so they were excited. Somebody was talking to me and they spit above my lip. I was so grossed out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't say nothing, but Lynette was like, sis, are you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, mm. <laughs> you know, and I got a napkin immediately and I put some, water on it and um you know it was wiping my lip i could still, I could still feel it and i've definitely cleaned my face and everything but it still felt cool you know something wet on your face it just i could feel it even though i had wiped it away gross the grossest thing ever so i could not wait to get in the house and take my shower wash my face and my body and my hair because <laughs> I just felt nasty. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna close this vlog out here. And if you guys like my content, leave me a thumbs up. If you want me to do something, you know, specific, let me know what it is and I'll see about getting it out to you. All right, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys later.